All right, welcome back. Well, uh, yeah, we are going to delve into the matter concerning the People's Democratic Party. Uh, we're expecting Haruna Said, member of the PDP Board of Trustees and former chairman uh, PDP in Kebi State. We hope that he makes it. But uh, Mr. Kachin Onuju joins us. He is a member of the party. He is in our studios in Abuja. Good morning, Mr. Kach. Thank you for coming on today on the program. Well. Uh, it appears there's just a lot going on. One wonders how to, you know, go up, internalize and interpret all that is going on. But at the moment, yes, the NWC, some caucus meetings have held, the NWC, and then you have the BOT meetings coming up, then you have the NEC meetings coming up. So from uh, some of the meetings that have held yesterday, as it were, what are you gleaning concerning how they plan to sort out this internal feud going on between uh, different camps now, the presidential candidates camp and the River State governor's camp. Uh, thank you. First, uh, it's not, there is no River State governor's camp. There is a Southern Caucus, and of course, there's a Northern Caucus. And the argument primarily by the Saturn Caucus is that they want to be included. This is an issue of inclusion. So are we aware that yesterday the NWC meeting couldn't hold because the members of the Saturn Caucus in the NWC worked out. They will not tolerate Mr. Ayu continuing to sit over meetings as chairman. The South wants him to step down as he promised he would step down when a Nottana emerges as presidential candidate. That Nottana has emerged, and he should simply do that. We are aware that some of his cohorts are even plotting to say that the BOT chairman should come down, and maybe governor's forum chairman come down, so that we Southerners, we don't want that. We want the party chairmanship. And that's what it is. If the North takes the presidential candidate, as we agreed, let the chairman of the party come to the south. That's what we're asking for. It is not too much for anybody to understand. It also behoves on Article now to show you can't call yourself a unifier and you're not able to act in this kind of issue of inclusion. Don't forget that. So we are beginning to believe that the original papers of nepotism which Buhari started implementing, was actually written by this particular group when they were still in APC. So, you, so how, how did saying, you... We would not so tolerate. You know, for, for when people hear you say that there is a, a North and South camp, they just wonder how did they get to a North and South camp? Because most of what had been in the dailies was that after the primaries, the PDP presidential primaries, we saw what transpired. The uh, River State governor was aggrieved in terms of how things turned out, and he's made his voice, his opinion known ever since then, and that was being predominant across board. So was it that that then uh, metamorphosed into what, a north-south camp? It has always been a north and south camp. And what we have is a caucus of the party from the south led by people like Governor Wiki and all the governors who are leaders of that caucus. It's not seen to be personal, no. And that's where the fraudulent people try to tell this story, personalize these issues. It's nothing personal at all. It is a southern caucus making a demand. If there are southerners who have been compromised, those people do not have the right to tell other Southerners not to agitate or not to demand what is their right. We, don't forget, run a representative democracy. Now that the North has produced it, presidential candidate of the party, we're asking that the Northerners give up the chairmanship of the party so that that comes to the South. It's as simple as that. Trying to drive it, to particularize it, Calling Governor Wiki, Governor Wiki, that is not only fraudulent, that's an attempt to deceive people. It is North versus South. And since we share a representative democracy, the Southerners are demanding that Mr. Ayu steps down. If he doesn't step down, we'll force him to step down. So we know if, how 
to get chairman to step down. If he were in North South camp, so what about those during the primaries, the southern teams, different governors and their team and states and that voted for the presidential candidates of the party today? Well, that's what we have. There are a lot of people who do, they understand we operate a representative democracy, but they just simply run it as if it's themselves that they represent. They will go there, when we say this is for the South, they will go there and go behind and say they want to work for this or that, not enough, so that they can get the crumbs. That's not what we're about. Everybody has every legitimate right to turn himself into a beggar, to humiliate himself, but nobody has the right to tell another man not to demand for his right. We are asking, as members of the Southern Caucus, our rights. It is zoned. It is representative. Now that the note has produced presidential candidates, I don't think it would be too much for anybody to understand that the South should have the chairmanship. If you're telling me, wait, like people waited on Buhari, we suspect what happened to the APC under Buhari could also start happening to us. Don't forget, you haven't even gone to the elections, but you're already beginning to show us how nepotism that was started by Buhari will also be continued by you. And that's why we think this is very dangerous. We will not take that, and we insist the Southern Caucus of the party wants the chairman of the party to step down as he promised he will step down if a Northerner emerges as chairman of the party. It's got nothing to do with Governor Wiki. It has everything to do with the Southern Caucus of the PDP that is making the demand. Is there a rule or a part of the PDP constitution that validates this position or mandates that the national chairman should step down in the uh, scheme of what we have at this moment? Yes. This national chairman, when he was produced in line with the zoning arrangements and the Northerners complained that they want to run for the presidency, he said very simply that if a Northerner emerges in line with the party sharing formula, he will step down. So a Northerner has emerged and we're asking him not to step down. But we found out that architects and uh, some merchants of structure are asking him, don't step down. And we don't understand why he would say he will Mr. step Nonijou, down. Mr. Nonijou, that down was very simple. A, a, a personal decision. I mean, from the comments that you have made, it was the national chairman that said, that volunteered it himself. And we'll come to that. But is there a rule that says he should step down or that he should vacate office in the scenario or in the event that a northern candidate, you know, a, a, someone from the, same can, from the same region of the country as him, emerge as a presidential candidate? Is there a law that says that? Yes. There is a rule that has held that rule, and that rule has been there in our party because our party is foundationally founded upon zoning. Is it, is it something written in the, you, in the constitution of the party or in the rule books of, of the PDP that that should always be the case? Yes, it has been practiced since the inception of the PDP, from the inception of the PDP till to date. I'm, I'm assuming that that means it's an un, I'm assuming, comes from the north. I'm assuming that you're making it sound like it's an unwritten rule that is understood like a kind of gentleman agreement. Is that correct? Well, it's not an unwritten rule. It's, it's an institutional behavior in the party. It's not unwritten. It's a practice. It's been there since the inception of our party. It cannot change now. That's why it I'm is. asking where, it, where is it written. If it is written in the rule books of the PDP, which of them? In the sharing formula of our party, it is there in the books. And that's why he's now agreeing he will step down, but that he wants to give us the date of when he wants to step down. We should let him step down after the elections. For what? The party, the chairman doesn't bring any value to the elections. The presidential campaign council constitutes itself very, very independent of the chairman. How do you let respond, Mr. Down. Nonoju, let to those... Have a sense how, of how do you respond to those who say, look, the rule that you are talking about only applies 
when the PDP is at the center as president and all of that. So the, the, the presidency, the vice presidency, the Senate presidency, the deputy Senate presidency, the Speaker of the House and the deputy Speaker of the House, those are the key positions that were supposed to be, as you said, zoned to different parts of the country. But that's not the case at the moment. How do you respond to those who believe that? Well, I will tell you there have been distortions. And those distortions, have not served the party well. Those distortions are the things that we're suddenly now standing up to demand that the distortions be discarded mm. and the proper thing be done. We run a representative democracy. We are now asking that representations be properly in place so that we, members of the party from the South, can actually have a sense of belonging. This is an issue of inclusion. I really expect Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate, who right now is seen as leader of the party, to actually show his mettle if he calls himself a unifier. You cannot unify any society if there is no equity, fairness, and justice in it. And they started this. They insisted they want to run. Instead of respecting the constitutional provisions in regards to the party's rule on zoning, allow the satana to bring the presidential candidate. The Northerners say they want to run. Now you've run, you've gotten the ticket, give up the chairmanship. It's as simple as that. So what, what, what do you say to those who say that it wasn't only the national chairman that has made a commitment? Uh, we asked the national chairman said that, look, if a presidential candidate from the same region as I should you know, emerge, he would step down. But then don't also forget that it's on the campaign grounds that Governor Wiki said, irrespective of what the outcome is, I will support the candidate that emerges from this primary. That is personal commitment, personal promise, personal rhetoric from Governor Wiki. We are not talking about Governor Wiki. This is the Southern Caucus. The Southern Caucus is not Governor Wiki. The Southern Caucus includes all Nigerians from the South who are emotionally attached to the sharings inherent in the party, could they call part of their own. And we simply are trying to tell you, we being members want to demand that our rights be given to us. It's as simple as that. So don't particularize it to Wiki. When you hear those people throwing Wiki, 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 they just want to deceive you. This is a demand by the Southern Caucus of the party. It's as simple as that. The South wants the things being done properly. It's got nothing to do with Wiki. Wiki is not going to become chairman. Neither will there be a chairman to come from River State. It will still come from some part of the South. So we, as members of the Southern Caucus, are making this legitimate demand. There's nothing about it. It's not Governor Wiki. It's got nothing to do with any particular individual. It's got to do with the Southern Caucus of the PDP. Well, Mr. Ananoju, you seem to have started by dropping a lot of innuendos, you know, and hints here and there. And uh, if you would um, avail us, I'd like you to clarify. You talked about um, how some southern uh, members have been compromised. You talked about how some southern members may go behind the back and work for the north for crumbs, you know, and all of that. So who are these people that you are insinuating have been compromised? A lot, a lot of very, very weak members of the party from southern Nigeria. Why do I say this? What we run is a representative democracy. You represent the interests of the southerners. You represent the interests of your people. So if you've been now given leadership mantle, and then you come there as a leader, and your people, the southerners, say they want presidency. No, but because of somebody induces you with money, promise of something, or you get structure, you now go behind to undermine the who, collective who, who interest and position they? of the South. Oh, a lot of people in our party, they exist. They are the same people you've seen that made sure they would not get delegates that they have a, a friendship with to vote for a Southerner. They would rather take money and get the Southerners to vote for the Northerner. And these things exist. And we have such people. Well, there are plenty. Uh, if I start calling names now, the program may not finish by the time I finish well, calling names. So let's keep that for a different day. It does exist. There are plenty. Don't know themselves. We know them. 
That's why we've chosen. Okay, to Mr. 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 even though you have you have own. simplified it by saying that it's not a wiki camp thing, but it's a northern and southern thing. But we know that um, you know during those popular meetings held um, in, in, in London, we saw Governor Wiki with some other governors from the south. Now, and um, one of the governors is saying something similar to Governor Wiki's position, which is the governor of Oyo State, as quoted in the papers today to, us, to have said that uh, they must demand uh, from the PDP their own right, which sounds like Governor Wiki's position. So are you confident that uh, your simplification of this matter is that it's a northern and southern thing. The papers, you, you, to add to that, the papers also say today that uh, the southern uh, caucus walked out of the meeting. So uh, are you optimistic that this uh, uh, disagreement will end any time soon? Yes, it will end very soon because we've simply calibrated our normal ways of having our views hard. When you're talking to somebody and he doesn't want to regard your words, there are actions you may now simple invest in that will get him to understand that you really mean business. And as you said, we escalated yesterday. It's a Southern caucus. It's got nothing to do with persons. You're mentioning names of leaders. Governor Wike is a leader in the Southern caucus. Governor Markin is a leader in the Southern Caucus. Governor Yokozi Iqbal is a leader in the Southern Caucus. And you have several leaders like that. They are the ones at the top. But we who are there with them are urging them to go on. We tell them they represent us, and this is what we want. And everything being done is not being done in the name of Wike or Markin Day. These or names, Uke these no, names are seen the name with Governor Wike. So it appears as if they are on Governor Wike's side. So this Southern Caucus is led by Governor Wike. Yes, Governor Wike is a leader among the Southern Caucus. That is true. Our governors are leaders in those caucuses. He's a member of the Governor's Caucus. He's also a member of the Leaders Caucus from the South. So there's nothing wrong with leaders taking your case and making it for you. Don't listen to those who have been Mwike Wike, Martin Wike's name. It's got nothing to do with Wike. It's got everything to do with the Southern Caucus. Well, you have the, the former governor of Niger State. I mean, you heard his perspective yesterday uh, concerning how he feels certain things should turn out. We hope to hear him soon. But then the presidential candidate of your party also met with uh, governorship candidates of the party across the country. And they were of the opinion that, well, they've listened to a lot of, I mean, most of the aggrieved persons. And they were of the impression that, in fact, there were those who thought that that meeting, they decided that the chairman will step down after the elections. And stepping down now may just tilt the balance. It may upset a lot of things moving into an election because there might be a lot of uncertainty there. That is not true. Let him step down. We know how to do things. Remember, uh, when uh, Governor Wodu stepped down while he was chairman, heaven didn't fall. Uh, we've had chairmen who stepped down. They stepped down. We have our ways of doing these things. Don't listen to those who try to confuse. We have made our demands. And the people we're dealing with have pretended as if they don't hear what we're saying. That's why you saw the walkout yesterday. Members of the Southern Caucus walked out of the NWC meeting yesterday simply to show them that we are serious about what we're saying. So if they don't want, we will simply show them through our actions that we're irritated about their ways of pretending that they don't hear what we're saying. We also want to tell them Forcing the BOT chairman to come down, Governor's Forum chairman to come down, those are not where our eyes are. Our eyes are squarely fixated on the national chairman's seat. Let him come down. We, the Southern Caucus, will find a replacement for him. Interesting. We want to be given a sense of belonging before we go to the elections. We would not be treated the way we've seen Buhari treat others in the APC, yeah, making well, promises 
and then the promises nobody keeps it. We it's in, it's interesting that now. you have brought in Based the, the, the conundrum. Yeah. The Just do. a second, Mr. Onoju. Uh, it's interesting that you've brought in, you know, yeah. the other some other dynamics, you know, uh, the the workout and all. I I I. I I think you may want to tell us, you know, what exactly happened at that BOT meeting and what in, indeed informed the walkout. Because a good number of people are wondering, why the national chairman? Earlier you said the national chairman doesn't bring any electoral value to the election. So why must the, electoral, uh, uh, the national chairman step down now? And why not the, the chairman of the BOT? Well, the national chairman, just like the presidential candidate, are positions of clout. The other one, the chairman of the BOT, it's, uh, it's, it's a different one. It, is a, it belongs to a different class. The two that affects the party directly is the presidential candidate and the position of the chairman of the party. So we southerners are insisting, since the North now has the presidential candidate, we want the chairman of the party, and that's what we want. We've made our demands, and when it was as if they wanted to ignore us, doing the same thing that we've seen them do, we instructed our people yesterday, as they went for that meeting, the NWC meeting, the Southern Caucus members stood up and walked out that they will not sit in a meeting where Mr. Ayu will preside as chairman. Very simple. So all those who thought we were not serious would now see that the thing has been escalated to the point where no meeting of the party shall hold with elected certain members sitting to recognize Ayu and him to hold, preside over that meeting as chairman. Is that to suggest that, that, that will from now on. so if they boycott the meetings and then the, uh, perhaps the BOT meeting hold, neck meeting hold, they will come to a conclusion, wouldn't they? And that will be binding when they do. Well, if they want to run the party alone, first from people from the north, we will let them do that. But of course, it's supposed to be a national party. So if you do not want this simple case of inclusion, if you cannot include us, the southerners, when you've not yet been elected as president, what will happen when you become elected as president? Can't you see? That issue of impunity, that issue of nepotism, it's a real problem. We don't want the members of our party to continue from where President Buhari has stopped in the issue of weaponizing nepotism. We do that, not want that ne yeah. ne weaponized against Mr. us. Mr. Nanaju, now the that the party, national party chairman has said he will not step down, he will not resign, what next? Well, in this kind of story, as a member of the PDP, Every chairman will always tell you, I will not resign. It's always been that way. Their opening statement will be, I will not step down, I will not resign. Then, of course, we who are very, very experienced in how to get a chairman out, we will do our things. We know how to get him out. We have done it several, for several chairmen. Are you? It's, a, it's just a matter of time. We'll, we'll remove him. He's not the first. He's not the last. And uh, <laughs> we will show him who what we are made of. And, um, you know, some members of your party have said, ignore Governor Wiki at your peril. That's a very loaded comment. And, uh, you know, Governor Wiki's comments to, um, through these crises have uh, been very loaded. So what do you see happening just in case this crisis uh, are not resolved very, uh, very soon, at, at least before the elections in 2023? As you can see it, if they don't want this issue resolved, we will let them run the party on their own. We will probably not be part of it. But as you know, uh, whatever they want to do without us, let's see how they who, can get Who are on. we? I don't think that... You, do you mean the Southern Caucus now? Exactly. We, the members of the South. That's why if you ignore Wike and think you're ignoring Governor Wike as Wike, you do that at your own peril. Wike represents the interests and behaviors and positions of the certain caucus of the party. So it is those who want to particularize this issue to Governor Wiki that are getting it wrong. If they think they can deceive the public by saying Wiki Wiki, it's got nothing to do with Wiki. We, members of the certain caucus of the PDP, are insisting that what is right be done right. Our right be given. We want to be included. 
In particular, Abubakar says he's a unifier. Unify the party by embracing inclusion. Allow when, the when you say you will not be a part of, of the belonging in the party, Mr. Nodudu, when you say you will not be a part of the elections as a consequence, uh, do you mean that uh, the Southern Caucus will defect? So far, this, no, I can decide to sit on my own if you don't want me to be part of what you're doing on the terms that I'm a partner. I will simply sit down. Nigeria calls it sit down the look. Wike has told you, and if you think you will ignore him, you ignore him at your own peril. If you do not think you want to lose, Wike has told them that he will help them to lose very well. So I don't really think there is any sense in anybody saying the chairman should stay. No. Okay. Let him go. What is he staying for? Well, Mr. Nanaju, in the name of inclusion, uh, do the Southern Caucus, does the Southern Caucus have partners across the line also in the same, you know, position as you on this issue of inclusion? Yes. A lot of people across the country are in agreement with us. It is just a few members who are hawks of uh, control, who are masters of nepotism, that do not want. But it would this seem like the, the interests on the other side have been rather quiet. Well, because they are watching. Everybody is frightened, and you can see people are so uh, 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 worried that even those who are running for elections, as you rightly pointed out, the governorship candidates went the other way. And when they went to see Governor Wiki, we found that of the 17 who came, 14 of them were actually people who Governor Wiki helped, sponsored, and sold to their emergence. So you cannot treat those who have built, respected, and looked after the party the way they are doing it now. You know, what, what makes that interesting, Mr. Nonoju, just there, one second. What, what, what makes that interesting is, I mean, you remember, of course, that when the, in the run-up to the presidential uh, primaries of the APC, all governors, northern governors, you know, uh, came together and said they want the, par, the, the presidential candidate of their party to come from the south. That was their position. So that's why I'm asking, it's rather quiet from up north. Uh, the governors or interests who are on the side of the Southern Caucus, as you say here, uh, it's rather quiet on their side. Perhaps a voice from them also might uh, give some oomph to the conversation. Well, we do not beg for people from elsewhere to help our case. We have, we know how. We have the capabilities to sort our issues, to help ourselves, to help our case, to make our case also. We don't really want to beg people from the other side to help our issues. All we beg them is to understand that we are pleading for inclusion. If they refuse, because we know some of them might be castigated, should they speak the truth openly, we will set proposals to help ourselves. And that's what we're doing. We'll select the calibration of those protocols that we believe will force a good listening to what we've been crying for. We want inclusion. I don't think that is too much to wish for. We simply ask as members of the party from the South to be carried along the way it's always been. If the North brings the pressure candidates, the South then will bring chairman. I don't think that's too much for anybody to understand. So is this inclusion a do-or-die matter? Well, if you are being asked to become a member of a football team, you will also ask yourself, what is it in, in it for me? Should I now go waste my time, waste my energy, waste my talent, and the team wins? What do I get? If they don't show you from the beginning that you're part of the team, then you probably should learn lessons from it. Because we have seen Buhari use nepotism to undermine the interests of the Sultanas in the APC. We but, don't want the same but nepotism Mr. Kaj, you know, also being practiced in the There PDP. isn't any sitting on the fence on this matter. Because if you say that you will just sit in the party and see what's happening, watch whichever way it goes, you're playing into the hands of the other political parties who may likely press the tape before your party. So that means that you don't care if your party wins or loses. 
well, you are trying to preempt me to tell you what I'll do next. No, I will keep everything close to my chest. No, you you, you use the you word yourself. Tomorrow. I will simply keep walking, praying that my words be hard. I will not tell you, Chamberlain, what I will do next tomorrow. I won't do that. I will simply sit down and be doing what I'm doing. When I do what I do next tomorrow, you will hear it. But I won't tell you what I'll do next but tomorrow. Nanaji, All I'm simply trying to tell you is I have options. But Mr. Nanaji, you, have you, options. you already said it. You said you will help your party to lose. That's loaded. That's, I am trying to paraphrase what Mr. Wicker said. Governor Wicker said if the party is working very hard to lose, that there are people who will help them lose. He has said that, and I thought that's a loaded warning. People should listen to that word from Governor Wike. If you do not want to do the right thing, that means you're trying to lose elections. And if you're trying to do lose election by doing the wrong, wrong thing, by getting those who should be your partners across the country to work with you, I we, think you're working to lose. We'll All go to I break in the moment. Those who are refusing. Yeah, just, yes. a, just a moment. I mean, we, we did expect Mr. Haruna Said, who is a member of the PDP Board of Trustees. He's also a former chairman of KB State, incidentally, but uh, we'll yet uh, get word of his arrival. But we'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Governorship candidates of the People's Democratic Party arrive at the private residence of Governor Yesun Wike in Port Agard, River State. 17 of them from Kaduna, Platsu, Katsina, Nasarawa, Kebi, Benue, Sokoto, Jigawa, Brno, Yobe, Kwara, Kano, Lagos, Niger, Ogun, Cross River and Delta are joining their counterparts in rivers to discuss the way out of the crisis in the party. They are led into a conference room at about 8 p.m. and were joined by their host, Nyesun Wiki, shortly after for a closed-door meeting which lasted for about three hours. Chairman of the visiting candidates gave an insight into the discussion. We are through. We have uh, discussed with the presidential candidate. We are here with our brother and friend. And uh, issues that uh, borders on uh, what has happened has been sorted out. He also revealed their next line of action now that they have met with the two gladiators, Atiku Abubakar, who is their presidential candidate, and Governor Jason Wike, an aspirant in the last presidential primary election. Uh, the issue has been resolved as far as I'm concerned because uh, we have heard from both sides and uh, we're going to meet with the National Working Committee to take a decision. The next couple of days will reveal what decision the National Working Committee, which may make or mar the chances of the party in the next year's election. All right, welcome back. Well, uh, still with Mr. Katch and Nonaju, uh, who is a member of the PDP. He's uh, consistently says that, uh, well, it is that uh, the chairman has got to step down if that doesn't happen. Well, Mr. Katch, that's the confusing part. You did say that you helped the party to lose. You say you're echoing the words of the Rivers governor. You said you're watching to see what transpires. But, uh, and then we also did ask you about why must it be the position of the national chairman? Now, assuming he were to step down, um, because he says, look, he was elected on a four-year term, and he will be within his right to serve out the four-year term. So if he were to step down, does that then mean that the party has got to hurriedly organize, what, a special convention to bring in somebody else because it, means, it may mean, we stand corrected, that if he goes, then we have to reorganize all the other positions of the party to balance the whole equation out. Will that be the case? Well, let him go first. That wouldn't be. If he goes, 
We have mechanisms. We have had this before. We've had chairmen who have left their positions without completing their four-year term. The man who he replaced, that that man completes his four-year term, he should understand the way he came is also the door he will go through. You should understand that our party is that way. So he is a beneficiary of this come replace a man who has not yet completed. He should also understand that uh, that same door through which he came in will also be open for him when we have uh, finished his welcome. And right now, we believe he's overstayed his welcome. So politely, as members of the same party, so that he doesn't stay there and continue to call our governor's children, he should simply just go away and let us sort ourselves. Uh, the party is ours. We brought him from retirement. And uh, we should just let us continue to fix our party. And uh, we think that is the right thing to do. We, we have nothing against him. We we'll thank him for serving. OK, it's over. Let him go and let us uh, fix the party. Is that to say in any way, manership or form, Mr. Onanuchu, that the value that, you know, uh, the chairman, the national chairman of your party brings to the table is nothing to write home about? What value does it bring? It brings value when you do things. But uh, when you now, you become the reason for the current internal implosion in the party. That's not value. You should bring value to stabilize the party. Politics. You should bring value to guide the party to victory. But if the man stays, he divides the party with his stay put. If he stays, the party could lose with his stay put. If he stays, the party implodes with his stay put. So we really don't see any value in Mr. You continuing to stay there and continuing to be the center of this uh, agitation and object of quarrels. I think the right thing for him to do he show gratitude that we've given him chance to serve, thank us, and he moves on and we do our things the way we've always done it. He won't be the first chairman that comes and leaves before his tenor expires. So he, he shouldn't give us those rhetorics about tenor. Let him just leave and let's do our things. We are now talking about inclusion. Inclusion. So if Atiku keeps saying he's unifier, let him now unify the party by taking decisions and acting to also aid the Southerners in this issue of inclusion. Speaking Don't forget how he came which, about. Mr. No, no, what caused all this was the Northerners insisting they want to run for election. When, after Buhari's eight years, normally the clock for zoning comes to the South. But the Northerners insist they want to run. And you can see it. Yes, we've been outplayed at Fox. We now simply insist we're in the church, please. Give us seats so we can sit. You can't sit on, on the seat, the seat of the candidate, you have a northerner. The seat of the chairman, you also have a northerner. Speaking, what about the southerners? Speaking of Let which, us sit on one of the seats. That's Mr. Onanoju, this continuing yes. feud between um, um, the national chairman of the party and the governor of River State, uh, it seems to place the candidate in a tight corner. Where is the candidate in all of this? Uh, where does he stand as, as far as calls for... Uh, the national chairman to step down is concerned. Another thing, you, you make another mistake. It's not national chairman and governor of State. It is the Southern Caucus versus the Northern Caucus. From my own insider information, the candidate wants Mr. Ayu to resign. But there are hawks in the party who are telling them, Ayu, don't resign. I don't know why. The candidate wants Mr. Ayu to leave so that he could have a peaceful party to go for election that we are aware but uh, he has he doesn't just need to wish he should walk and act in aiding stability in the party by working with others to make sure mr ayu leaves so that the party can be stable for him now to have the party at his own disposal to go to election peacefully because any house divided falls there is no house that implodes and fighting amongst itself, that ever wins if you're going anywhere. It does not serve the candidate's interest that the current implosion sustains. As you can see, most leaders have got to tie. All right, Mr. Kaj, just to hang resign. on a minute. They refuse. That's why you're not seeing people who normally wouldn't be involved. Okay, like Mr. Kaj, just hold on a minute. We've got Mr. Fabi Oladimeji joining us. He is the director of support group and events technical committee.
since 2023. He joins us virtually this morning. Good morning, Mr. Fabi. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Well, uh, Mr. Nonojo has uh, consistently maintained that the chairman of the party has got to step down, uh, leveraging on yesterday, he says, during the NWC meeting or the meetings that held yesterday, the Southern Caucus all walked out trying to drive home their point. Are you aware of that? And if that were the case, how does the party proceed from there? Well, thank you very much, Chamberlain, and good morning, Nigerian. um, Nigerians. Uh, first, let me say that um, I am here, number one, that uh, I'm just reading the news this morning that uh, some of the party members walked out. I've, I've, I've not been briefed about that. But if that were to be the case, I think that um, uh, as a party, we need to review our, our activities. Okay. We need to... Go ahead. We can hear you now. Yeah, we can hear you from here. Yes. Yeah, yes, I think I, first and foremost, I'd like to say that I am not aware that uh, a group of people walked out. I just re saw that, uh, I mean, heard that this morning. But if that were to be the case, then uh, it means that uh, PDP has not learned its lesson. And um, uh, beyond that, I think it's high time we all, all of us uh, understood the fact that there's a party in place and, then, uh, and there are processes. I am not saying that uh, the party, uh, whatever decision the party is going to take, should not be upheld. But let the party, let the people we put in position of authority take the decision. It's not for any man to come on the national TV and say the national chairman of the party should just go. There are processes. We are facing an election in the next seven months. And my question has always been, whatever it is, why are we in so much in a hurry, always in so much in a hurry as a party to remove our chairman? If they, what has are you stolen money? What has are you do? Has he been involved in any anti-party anti, 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 anti activities? What are some of these things that you, because we have an election, you believe, I mean, maybe a chairman, the chairman um, is not, he didn't support you or what? So as far as I know, I think uh, <clears throat> it's that time PDP really wakes up and the leadership takes the appropriate decision. For me, whatever has to be done <clears throat> should be at the end of the election. We have an election ahead and all this confusion will not go well with the party. I listened to my friend and brother there, uh, Kaji. I, we know him. I know him. I know where he belongs. So I'm not surprised where he's talking. We cannot continue to, to find the embers of discourse in this party. Uh, as far as I know, again, the candidate of the party is, <clears throat> is working day and night to ensure that the party stays united because they understand the value of going into an election united. You can't blame the candidate of the party for not, he's doing all he can. He's my boss and I'm always around him. I know the sleepless night, I know the engagement day and night to ensure that the party, will. why can't we, in the interest of this country and in the interest of the party, you know, work as a team, whatever it is. Now, let me ask this question, Chamberlain. What will, even if you say, I wish you go now, and we have a southern chairman of the party. What to contribute to the outcome of this election in 2023? I am here to see it. Is that what is going to make us win? No. What is going to what is going to make us win is this: the, the way we are now. Let's come together. Let's win this. I, I can tell you that there is no how you will remain in office the moment Atiku, by the grace of God, becomes the president elect of this country. So what is it? I think I'm beginning to feel that it's a, it's a case of a uh, pound of flesh. And then I, for, for me, I am one of those who believe that in the interest of unity and peace and, and, and victory for the party, they should just let Ayu run this you know, election. Mr. And Fabi, go, because I don't know what it's bringing. You know, yes. when we did ask uh, Mr. Onoroju about uh, some of the developments, he, we, I mean, what lots of people had seen, uh, had been widely reported, was that uh, they thought it was the governor of River State amongst maybe some of the governors who are trying to get their voices heard. But he then said, because even up until yesterday, we saw images of the presidential flag bearer of your party meeting with the uh, presidential aspirants, some of them from the South as well. But we did ask Mr. Nonuju uh, if that were the case. But he did say, no, it is the entire Southern Caucus that is 
that wants the chairman to resign. So for those who thought it was just the Rivers governor and two or three other governors, now he say it is an entire Southern Caucus uh, leveraging on those who stage a walkout. Does it suggest or mean that perhaps yourself, your candidates, perhaps several some others might have underestimated the depth of this misgivings or grievance, as it were? No, my, my candidate does not underestimate anything. He understands the, 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 all the dynamics. And the truth of the, the matter is that, yes, at court cost meeting, um, we knew. I must tell you, I personally know that, yeah, yeah because of course, it's very it's obvious that some people are not happy with what is, what is happening. They have their grievances. And you don't expect people with grievances to, to just you know agree with you like that. So we knew what was going to happen. But what I know of a, of a fact is that the candidate of the party is a man who respects the rules, who respects the order, who respects the start, I mean the, the, the establishment. We have a party. And I, I know a candidate, my candidate will not be some the party candidate will not be someone who wants to impose his wishes on the party. Let who and who in the party who are, who have the authority, who have the um, 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 the, the power to take well, we're losing you there. The connection not that uh, strong at the moment. But, I mean, some of the next uh, questions or thoughts will then be, uh, having gotten to this stage where you see the back and forth going on, there will be some challenges. But, Mr. Fabi, go ahead. You are making a point about what the candidate thinks of the whole thing. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Okay, um, Mr. Fabi, we'll try and get that connection back and bring you up because, I mean, part of the other questions will then be, uh, well, he says, maybe Mr. Nonju will speak to it. What electoral value, he says, will, the, that, will that position bring to the elections? Mr. Nonju, so, yes, you want inclusion, but when it's got to do with votes and delivering, what value, what electoral value does that position deliver? Or will a change in the leadership or in the chairmanship of the party, how will that translate to votes? It gives us a sense of belonging. But not votes. It reassures us that these partners that we are dealing with have not learned the nepotism of Buhari, in which he excluded the Southerners in position sharing but and appointment. But it is, um, what he says is, look, it's about votes right now, not about sentiments, but you say sense of belonging. So will the sense of belonging rank higher in the scale of preference to votes? Yes. A sense of belonging is what makes me feel that I should work for a team. The team shows me sense of belonging. Then I will know I belong. Then I will be hopeful. Don't forget, you're talking about a system where there is no reward system. So when there is no reward system, and I think I'm being cheated, when we are being uh, calibrated together, he also I'm not says being that, shared, that there is I'm no way, called. he says there is no way the chairman will remain on that seat when, if, the candidate wins? Well, the candidate has emerged, and that's what we are saying. Since the candidate has emerged, let the chairman step down. That's what we said. We're not, we're not saying wait. No, the candidate emerged, let the chairman come down. Simple. Well, Mr. Nanoju, this is about victory, ultimately, for the People's Democratic Party. And you have said, rightly so, too, that... Uh, your candidate, well, we don't know if it's true that your candidate wants the national chairman to resign, but you said that there are some people prevailing on him 
uh, encouraging him not to resign. So that means that even if he steps down, there are some people who are his supporters. And that means that the division remains and the issue has not been solved. And the PDP will still be going ahead into the election divided, even if IU steps down. How will that affect the chances of your party at the polls? Well, I don't know. Like, you're very correct. The earlier we have this issue resolved, the better. Because when you now resolve it, you will now go into part B, which is healing. Uh, the earlier we have this resolved, the better. So we can start on the part of healing. It's a national issue. And we, as members of the party, are insisting. Why? Because of the optics we've seen so far. Of All right, Mr. We Fabi want is to be back. We in what's been done. Okay, we'll, we'll come to healing if there's time, but Mr. Fabi is back. Mr. Fabi, Mr. Nanoju says your candidate really and truly wants the national chairman to step down, but that some people are prevailing on him not to do so. Please confirm that indeed your, the candidate of your party um, is in support of this are you must step down demand. Thank you very much. What, all I know is that my candidate wants peace and unity in the party. And he wants everybody to be brought on, to be on the table. Because, he as, like I said, Atiku Abubakar is, 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 is a warlord when it comes to election and campaign. So what he wants is peace and unity in the party. And that is what he has been preaching. And let the party, Atiku does, he doesn't stand a chance. He's not the owner of the party who will impose something on the party. I, I think who believes in the supremacy of the party. Let the party take the decision. It's not the decision of Atiku. It's not the decision of Governor Wike or Kaji that is there. It's the decision of the party. And let the party take this. If, the, if you tell me that the Southern Caucus walked away, I, I, found that, I found that not interesting at all. Because what are we talking? If you say we want the peace, we want unity. It's walking away from Caucus, the answer. You sit on the table and agree. You mobilize your people in the party. You are going to neck today. Get the neck to say no. And you must step down and the majority can't the day. Why are they creating this confusion? This is my question. You asked the, 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 the other time we, we, had we had this conversation, we? just a second, Mr. Oladimiji. The, the, the last time we had this conversation around this, you were saying you know, the presidential candidate has a significant role to play. And now you're saying he's been preaching peace. And then I hear the word the party. Mm. I'm, I'm just wondering. In this context, when we talk about the party, I'd like you to define it. Now, for your candidate, when he says he's preaching peace, what is peace to him? Thank you very much. I remember, yes, we engaged, and I never, I, I'm just repeating what I said there, that we have a party in place, we have the process. We cannot jump the process. We cannot impose something on it. I never said, is not committed. Atiku is committed to peace and unity of this party because he understands that we need to go into this election united. And that's why I said everything that is committed to is to ensuring that everybody is on the table. And I went further to say that let's respect the leadership, the supremacy of the party. Now, when you want me, if you want me to, de to define what the party means, it means that we have organs of the party who take decisions. We have the net. We have the caucus, we have uh, the BOT, the conscious of the party. We have the NWC that manages the day-to-day -day activities of the party. So let the NEC, which is the final organ, take the decision. It's not the decision of Atiku. Atiku, you don't expect Atiku to, um, to impose, even if he wants the national chairman to go. He will not impose it on the party. You don't expect it to impose on the party. It's not about him. He wants the about national party. chairman to go. Party. You said? Does he want the national chairman to go? Does Atiku want the national chairman to go? That's the question. You said, does Atiku want the national chairman to go? In the interest of peace, does he want the national Atiku chairman to go? Support any, listen, 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 Kaldi. Atiku will support the majority view of the party. That's exactly what I'm saying. If the majority of the party at next today says national chairman to go, Atiku cannot stop it. And if they say you should stay, Atiku cannot stop it. This is exactly what I want you to understand. Don't, don't mix it. It's very clear. Atiku is not the owner of the party. Neither is anybody. Why right. did he put all these people in place? So what I'm saying is that the party has a duty. We have a party. Let the party take decisions. I just define what the party means to be those who take decisions. All right. So, okay, so, so I just want, uh, we need to wrap up. So Mr. Nonoju, the neck, he says, has got to take that decision. When the neck takes that decision, 
will the Southern Caucus, who you say walked out, will they <coughs> abide by that decision? You know, the moment Ned takes the takes decision, that is final. Even that you cannot stop it. Okay. Even with it cannot stop whatever the decision is. So that's exactly what I'm saying, that what, whatever is the decision of the Ned is binding on everybody. So okay. the Southern Caucus that I'm being told that walked out of the, of, 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 of the meeting are not doing well for the party. That's okay. my own take. All right, so Why Mr. Can't Mr. You take your, if, even if you are not agree, go to net, mobilize your people, and say, guys, these are the reasons why this man cannot continue to stay. All right, so Mr. Nanuju, will the party, will the Southern Caucus or the party abide by whatever decision the neck takes? Well, it depends on how the neck is constituted. As you could see yesterday, uh, when Tutel. governors were called, presidential candidates were called, you saw. Uh, Bukola Saraki wasn't there, he's abroad. Mr. Wike wasn't there, he didn't attend. Payasanyam wasn't there. But don't so they know? The three major candidates. Are they not were aware not there? that so there will be a neck meeting trying today? To make peace with? Are they not aware there will be a meeting today? Yes, if the neck meeting is well attended, what if it's a neck meeting where our people also boycott and then only people from one section of the country say they take the decision? It won't be binding on anybody. For the peace of the party, Mr. Ayu should step down. So why so don't they go to peace, NEC rather than boycott? Plan, can, can they go, go to NEC and get their voices heard? It's a democracy, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely today we will make our voice heard at the NEC. We will prove our talking and our actions. Okay, so if the that means will both go. of you agree that whatever NEC decides, everyone should abide by that. So, if the NEC meeting will hold... Okay. If the next meeting will hold. All right, we, we hear you. So, but gentlemen, we have to thank you both for coming on. Catch on, Onuju, member of the PDP, and uh, Fabi Oladimeji, member of Direct Support Group and Events for Article for President 2023. Thank you, gentlemen, for talking to us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank we will you. be back in just a moment. Stay with us.